To help me make even more content for you, why don't you take a look at the links in my description. And while you're there, sign up for your free 30-day trial of Amazon Prime Instant Videos. With this, you can enjoy unlimited instant streaming of over 15,000 movies and TV shows, watch anywhere, anytime with unlimited access throughout the UK, and watch exclusive hit TV shows before they air on British TV. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to give you a really quick way to colour correct your footage in Final Cut Pro 10. So let's jump into Final Cut. So what we have here is two identical clips of the same bit of footage. Now I filmed this footage on my Canon 70D and using the picture style of Cine style, which is basically um, a picture profile which washes out quite a lot of the colour, gives you a lot to do with colour grading, colour correction in post. Um, this is just going to be a really quick video and a really simple way to bring more colour to your image if you shoot using a really flat really flat style. So we have the same clip twice just so I've got a before and after to show you. So I'm going to jump to the after video and to select the video I want and hit command 4 on the keyboard or you can click the three sliders here on the right hand side of Final Cut Pro which brings you into your inspector. Then where you want to go in your inspector is into the little color box here and correction 1. Now, you always want to do your first correction as the main correction you want to do. So, the exposure on my image is actually done in camera and was correct from there, but if your exposure is not correct, you always want to do your exposure as correction one. So, you'd go to exposure and you can slide the sliders up and down to higher and lower the exposure that you shot the video at. You then have saturation next to that and color next to that. Now, my exposure is correct, so I don't need to worry about exposure. If you do, then correct your exposure in here by sliding one of the sliders up or down. I like mine where it is. And you can come out and add another color adjustment in the color thing here by clicking this plus button up above next to the word hide. But I'm going to use my first correction for the actual color itself. Now this is the quick tip part. Instead of correcting the color really in depth, I just want a general color across the thing this is just a video for YouTube, it's not part of a film or anything, but I want a kind of cinematic look to it anyway. So this is what I'm going to do, it's called cross colour correction. And instead of bringing the shadows down and moving the midtones around and getting the highlights correct, I'm going to pull the shadows up into the blue, quite high, which gives me a really blue colour. Match that then with the highlights, which washes your image in a complete blue. And then to make it look real, Pull down the midtones until you get a nice normal coloured scene like that. I could afford to bring the blues down a bit, I think, in the, and the blacks. There we go. And now this scene has a lot more colour in it. So if I now close the inspector, I can show you the before and after. This is the before footage with a really flat colour profile saturation pulled right down, colours pulled right down and if I let it carry on going into the next clip you should see a difference in the colour, quite a dramatic difference, the leaves are greener, the trees are brown, it looks kind of cinematic feel to it which is what we're going for it so that is a really quick tip on how to colour correct your footage, that's not an in-depth colour correction um, I'll come to a more in-depth tutorial at some other point if, the, if, you, if this video has helped you, well, I'm chip, tripping over my own tongue this morning. If this video has helped you, make sure you hit the like button in the description below. Make sure you stick around to look at some of my other videos. And why not check out the links in my description to some of my affiliate things to help the channel out a little bit. Um, there's some freebies down, there's some free trials and stuff which cost you nothing but do help me out. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks once again for watching and I'll see you next time.